Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Check this out, there has been some absolutely enormous improvements to Xenia emulator, especially in relation to many of the Halo games on this Xbox 360 emulator. So if any of you checked out my previous coverage of Halo 3 running on this 360 emulator, you would have seen that on this map Last Resort, we basically had unplayable amounts of flicker, we had performance drops every 2 and 3 seconds and we practically had nothing rendering correctly. Previously, when you got into any vehicles, your character model would completely vertex explode almost into the shape of a cube and as you can see right now, this stuff is now being perfectly rendered. You can also see that when we come out to this beachfront area, while we do not have rendered water, you can hear the sound is correctly working, this water is not being correctly rendered at this point in time. So let's just walk out into the water and you should hear, yes you can hear that there is indeed water but for some reason it's not being rendered most likely an unimplemented shader or shader instruction. Now another very funny issue is the fact that when you look at the shadows of practically anything everything actually has Master Chief's shadow. If you crouch down you can see that it is indeed Master Chief's shadow. Now there are also some other fairly significant rendering issues. For example when you come over to the ghost and when you enter it there is going to be an issue with the transparent texture that comes off these little side parts of the ghost. I'm not exactly sure what they're called but you can see that when you enter the ghost this weird graphical corruption happens on screen. Now it's not only with the ghost it generally happens with many of the transparent textures or transparent effects or whatever you want to call them. For example, when I exit this ghost and I come in here to my left, you should see that there's going to be a grav lift here that's going to have a very similar transparency effect. So let's come to the center of this arena, hit the X button and when we drop it down, you're going to see that we are suffering from this exact same graphical issue. Now when we turn away from it, you'll see it disappears and when we turn back and are outside of a certain radius or distance, it's going to be gone but then when we come back towards it, it is going to reappear. Now this exact same graphical issue happens on several transparent effects, for example the grav lift we've seen, the ghost we've seen, it happens on banshee trails from time to time, it happens on bubble shields that the brute characters throw down inside of the campaign, and it also happens on the grav lifts and grav jumps on some of the multiplayer maps and some of the levels inside of the campaign itself. Now another issue is when you enter into the forge creation mode, we get this weird glassed effect and while it does actually look really really cool it is not exactly accurate emulation so hopefully this can also be fixed very very soon. So not only have we had rendering improvements but we have also seen performance improvements at least in my circumstance I am much closer to 30 fps more of the time. Now we have also seen several other system improvements for example when I come to end game and select yes. Game over you would have seen previously in builds from about a week or two weeks ago that this would just crash at least in my experience with the emulator whereas now it successfully loads back to the menus where we can in fact now go to campaign wait for our campaign level to load and we are going to be able to successfully start a game and actually properly load into the campaign and story mode. They let me pick. Did I ever tell you that? So as you can most likely hear in the clip that just played, there are several audio issues currently in Xenia. While character dialogue does play at a regular speed, all of the music does not and seems to play at either double or triple the playback speed. However, as you can clearly see, we have seen an absolutely enormous jump in graphical parity to the Xbox 360 version of the game. In the DirectX 12 branch of Xenia only two or three days ago there was practically nothing rendered in any of these scenes and as you can see right now the game is looking absolutely awesome. For anybody who is not aware, one of the new contributors to Xenia Emulator, Triangle, has been working on this DirectX 12 branch with the help of other core contributors to this project. As with the previous area where we have seen massive rendering improvements, once we get to this area and this cutscene, you can also see that we have seen absolutely huge improvements to the render quality of the game. 
While yes, it is definitely not 100% accurate, it is absolutely enormous improvement over anything we previously had on this Xbox 360 emulator. Gorman? His armor's locked up. Gel layer could have taken most of the impact. I don't know, Sergeant Major. <sighs> Radio for Vito. Heavy lift gear. We're not leaving him here. Yeah. You're not. So once again, you can see that the character dialogue plays back actually quite correctly. The audio and music in the background, however, at least in these cutscenes, is not playing back at a correct speed. That's why you can hear that kind of a weird wisping sound in the background of gameplay. Where's Cortana? Don't make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it. She stayed behind. So not only have we seen absolutely enormous performance and graphical rendering fixes in this game, Halo 3, we have also seen many other fixes in other titles like Halo ODST, Halo Reach, Devil May Cry 4, Fable, lots of the Need for Speed games. I could honestly go on for hours and hours about all of the games that have been fixed in this DirectX 12 branch, but instead of doing that, I'm more than likely going to be covering them in update videos over the next week or so. So if there are any games that you yourself would like to see tested on this Xbox 360 emulator, please do let me know down in the comments section of this video or jump on over into my Discord where you can also ask me any questions you want about this emulator. You'll find a link to my Discord down in the description of this video. Down there you'll also find several other links to my social media accounts if you want to get in contact with me. Though to be honest, the easiest way to talk with me directly is on my Discord server itself. So as well as all of these links down in the description, you will also find a link to the BSOD Gaming Patreon. This Patreon was set up due to the fact that running an emulation channel on YouTube is very much so a niche topic and as a result it doesn't really make too much and it doesn't really help with buying all of these different games and making sure that I can keep all of you guys as up to date as possible on all of these different emulators. So if any of you guys want to help with the day to day running of this YouTube channel, you can head on over to my Patreon and pledge to support the channel. As always, it is 100% not required for you to do so, but if you want to help, it is much appreciated. So I am just going to leave this gameplay play out for the rest of this video. Hopefully it will give you a gauge of how well Halo 3 is currently running on Xenia at this point in time. Please however do be aware of the fact that I myself am using an 8700K, a 6 core, 12 thread CPU clocked at 4.9GHz at time of making this video. I'm also running 16GB of DDR4 3000MHz RAM paired with a GTX 980Ti. You should also be made aware of the fact that when I'm not recording and when I'm not using any of my GPU resource for recording, I generally get about 3 to 4 and maximums of 5 frames per second more in Halo 3 on Xenia at this point in time. One last point I also want to make is any pausing or stuttering you may see in this video is 100% caused by your game shaders being stored or compiled into your GPU driver. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me. The prophets are liars, but you are fools to do their bidding.
Found courage is but fear. When we are victorious, all who serve the prophets will be punished. Sleepers! Take them out, nice and quiet. 